Hello, one and all. Welcome back to Mandate of Heaven, Might and Magic 6. See how I twisted it round there? <laughs> anyway, with me is... Razorblade 55? Yes, and we got to see Albert Newton to become wizards, and everyone became weak. <sighs> <laughs> you suck. Oh, who goes there? Me! His Grace, Albert Newton, Marquis of Mist, and High Sorcerer of Enroth. Hey, we drank your fancy water of glitteriness. Well done, you... Uh, blah blah blah, fountain, location, uh, now secret. Do not spread the location around. Now, let me show you the secrets of a wizard. Arc Mage. Your training does not end with what you have learned as a wizard. One final step remains. Archmage status completes your mastery of elemental magic. The buildings of your wizard are training. Archmages have vast magical abilities. The most efficient and skilled use magic anywhere. Earning this training requires powerful artifacts owned by Archmage Drac... Uh, no, was it full of uh, No, that was not right either. Actually, I can't seem to remember what artifact that was or who it was owned by. I remember I saw it, though. I know it can be found in Corridor's estate near... My of the damned. Search for it and return to it. I must have you training to be an archmage. Okay, talk to you again. Sorry, I cannot remember exactly what you need. I know it's used blah 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 the cord on the skate. Basically we have to go and find a magical crystal crystal of shininess. Basically we have to go and find a shiny crystal of Dark Messiah. Hmm. I like how I told you not to spread the location of the magic fountain, even though it's like right outside someone's house. Yeah. You mean why I start a village? Or people? Yeah. Oh, bloody phone ringing. Okay. <laughs> yes, what raises probably mute his mic. Today is Friday, and then Friday is. Oh, I could go to Castle Iron Fist and do a dungeon, then come back and do everything myself. Welcome Yay! Aboard. And, oh, how handy! You can cast the Iron Fist. And hoist the sail. Boom. Whoa! And now we're going to go to the castle and get a hand in our promotional paladin quest because we rescued... What's her name again? Something Silver. Shelby. I can't remember. Huh. But we shall hand it hand her into the regent. Anyway. So, let's go back up. Who are you? The banker. Eh. Scholar. I don't know why I'm looking at people. I, I just like looking at people. Hey, I want to see your portrait. Hello. You got a nice portrait. Yeah. Respectable. Oh, yes, I remember. The prince has been kidnapped and you can't get him until you find the circus. Yes. We have to go and find the circus before we can actually become a paladin. Actually, we can go and level up, actually. That's what we can do in the meantime. So we can go round and start partying like it's 1952. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm doing fine. Hey, look at the train. Yeah. Well done. It's no good job. Say good job instead. I dare you. I dare you, Earl of Grey of the Instructor. Well done. Well, you left out three times. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Jesus Christ, he needs a lot of money to actually level us up. Right, let's see. Uh, bit bit you need these horseshoes. I know that for a fact. Why does she need such horseshoes? Well, now we have to level up her water magic. I bet you're wondering, her water magic? What's that? Water magic is that. If you cannot see it, you're blind. Oh, you're looking at this at very poor quality, like it's unrendered. I don't know why you're looking at it like that. Wait until it's rendered, will you? Anyway, water magic. It's now eight. Uh, now light magic should be completely upgraded. Yeah. Now that can be turned into expert, but merchant. Let me think merchant. Uh, do I need merchant? Yeah. Right. Now you need air magic and air magic again. Why not? Uh, what do you need? Oh. Well, you can't really get master in anything except from sword. So let's upgrade your plate a bit. 
Ah, uh, do. Maybe your repair skill. Play or repair. Play or repair. Play or repair. I'll come at it a later day, and decide later. Because that'd be always fun to come back and decide later. Anyway, what? How much experience do you need to level up? Seventeen grand. Twelve grand. Uh, nine grand and seven grand. So in a total of difference of ten grand each. Well, ten grand from the lowest to the highest. Yeah. So let's go in and to the Corgon Estate. Nothing bad will happen there. No, no, what even gives you that silly idea? Something bad will happen. No, 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 yes, something will happen. You see, we're going to go in there for, you know, so we're going to go and party with some friends, you see. And these friends aren't the most politest of people, because you see, they happen to be completely naked. Except from the floaty ones. Yes, people float in a dungeon. They're that special that they float. Don't you float on Saturdays? Yes, you do. Everyone floats on a Saturday. What's up here? Ooh. Nothing. So let's go in, shall we? Ooh, this is nice and ominous. Corrigan's estate. Why don't she... Reside of Archmage Terrorists? Oh, yeah. I, I believe we already read that. Let's go in! Why not? I don't like the looks of this place. I don't like the sound of this place. When I mean friends, yeah, I kind of meant undead people. I'm sorry if I tricked you, I'm sorry. I tricked everyone into thinking that we had friends. I'm sorry, we don't have friends. The only friends we have are the ones that we pay. It's quite sad, isn't it, that we have to pay for friends. Could you move any slower? And behind door number one is... Ghosts. You look, you're looking a little bit baggy today. We've got spectres. Spectres are unique. They can knock you unconscious because look at their rags. It will engulf you, and if you engulf it, the smell they have will just knock you right out. I'm sorry, have you ever looked underneath their rags? Seriously. It absolutely smells and absolutely looks unconscious. The smell will just knock you right out like poison. Also, evil spirits, they're so evil they age you. Yes, they actually age your characters. What does age do? Well, when you get past the age of 50, your characters start to decline a bit in stats, like by a third. So your characters are a bit more useless. And then once they're about 70, their stats will then again lower down again, and so on forth. So. Learn to know, evil spirits aren't your friends. They're your enemies. After all, they're blue, but the deep, but die. And as we all know, blue's a kind of related to purple, and as everyone knows, purple is the essence of evil. Evil, I tell you, is evil. If you do not think purple is evil, there's something wrong with you. I'm like. Ah, hello! I went on a bit on a tangent about how much blue is evil. Purple. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I heard. These guys sound so happy when you kill them. I know, like, yay! Yeah, it's quite amusing. It's like, you killed me! Yay! Uh, Have an interesting phone call. Uh, yeah, it wasn't for me. Ah. So, let's kill you. They actually kind of sound like a football cheer, don't they not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. When, when, I mean, they... when I mean a football cheer, I mean a soccer cheer. In Europe, we call it football. Because you kick it with your foot. Mm. Oh, hi! So, in this place, we got this kind of like undead. It's full of undead, it is. And we're here mm. searching for this magical shiny that's in Dark Messiah. Uh, right, yeah. And 
Whenever I kill these ones, I'm gonna stop recording. Oh, you idiots! You, ah, oh, you're dead. You're so dead. I hate you. You magically aged her. See, now she's age 23. I gotta say, magical aging is the worst thing in this game. Yeah, I think it got to kind of suck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we should start recording sometime soon. Uh-huh. Right, so I'm going to say goodbye for now and have a great day. Bye. Bye.